Welcome back to Julie's Wreath Boutique. I know this is not a wreath, but that's okay. It's crafty. And in the the age we live in with the coronavirus, I thought let's make something different. Um, and I wanted to show you how I made these really easy, simple DIY, um, I guess, paint pouring techniques. I saw a lady in a Facebook group, it was like for a Hobby Lobby group, and I believe her name was Cheryl, um, but she was showing us how she did this and she just simply poured. I, did, I didn't mark my aluminum foil like she did, but um, you, if you search YouTube, you're gonna find many videos about how to pour, like pouring art, and this is basically what that is. So let me just go over what you're gonna need for this project. I just simply used acrylic paint. This is just stuff I have on hand, and I didn't even use a whole bottle of this. There's still paint in these, and I used six colors, okay? I also, the reason why I'm using these canvases, I had um, a pack of 12 of these um, canvases that I've had around for like the longest time. And I will see if I can link some of these in my Amazon shop. And then you're going to need aluminum foil. I just use my super strength aluminum foil. If you have just regular foil, um, several layers of it will be just fine. And you're also gonna need like Elmer's glue. Yes, simple white Elmer's glue. I have like a gallon of it. So um, I was able to order that from Amazon and I'm sure we'll use that for many projects to come. And I just simply used a plastic knife to um, get the sides and yeah, that's about it. So if you've got some extra paint, you have some Elmer glue, you have some foil and you have some canvases. And I bet you could even make your own canvases with maybe some fabric and foam board if you wanted as well. But it was an easy project. I wanted to share it with you and I hope you enjoy it. So let's get started. Okay, so this is what you're gonna need. You're gonna need a 12 by 12 canvas or maybe you wanna use a bigger canvas. It's totally up to you. I just had a stack of these on hand so that's what I wanted to use. Um, you're gonna need heavy duty um, aluminum foil. And as you can see, I just took a big piece and I crumbled it up and then I laid it out because we want the texture that's in this foil. I'm also gonna be using acrylic paint for this project. And these are the colors. I'm not really, you're just gonna go through and just say, okay, that looks like a pretty color. And just, we're gonna see what this looks like and um, kind of go from there. You're also gonna need, and I have a big gallon size of it, thing of just regular school glue, like Elmer's glue, white glue. And you're gonna use some cups. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one of these, just move this over, and you're gonna do equal parts or the best that you can do, paint and Elmer's glue. Gotta get it to come out there. So you're gonna do this, and you're just gonna kinda eyeball it. If I had bigger containers right now of paint, I would probably be using those, but this is what we're gonna, this is what I have on hand, okay. So it's coming out slowly but surely. Okay, so I'm gonna look here, see how much, and I'm just gonna kind of guess at it and I'm gonna add about that much in glue. Okay, that should be good. And then I'm just gonna mix it up really good. And as you can see, you still have your nice pretty color. So I'm gonna take all six of these colors and I'm gonna do this and I'll be right back. Now that our paint is all stirred up and ready to go, I'm gonna take my um, canvas here and I'm just gonna kind of pull up on my foil to kind of give me a grid of where we're gonna be putting this. You could even mark the foil. The demonstration I saw on Facebook, they marked the foil was in a Facebook group. I'm not really, I can't remember which one it was, so I can't really tell you which one, but it wasn't in mine. Um, mine's Wreath Creators and more. Um, so I'm gonna remove this now. And so all we're gonna do is we're going to layer the different paints into this um, foil that we've already crumpled up and laid out, okay? So I'm gonna start with one of my favorite colors. I think this is kind of a lilac mauve color glue on the bottom of that. Okay. So, and I'm just going to go 
and just you're just gonna layer it okay all right let's do another let's do a more vibrant color and we'll see we might have to um, mix some more paint and that's okay too Right. Going to do. Let's do some of this white. Kind of a. You know, I'm probably gonna have to get my little knives that I was stirring this wet out in a little bit. If you can hear my kids above upstairs. So you're just going to be really abstract with this and just kind of go with what you, um, you know, you like. Do another one here. A bit more pink. I'm going to do this for my daughter. I think she will really like this. These, these are the colors in her room. There's still paint in there, so I'm going to get some in a minute. I'm going to do this nice dark pink. There we go. And I just don't think there there is a rhyme or reason. You're just going to pour it out to your foil. Okay. Let's see. Did we use them all? Nope. We still have one more. Okay. Got this color. That's pretty too. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take, go back to like one of the original colors, which I think was this one, and I'm just going to scrape out the rest of the paint. And I'm going to, I'm going to find spots that may not have um, a bunch of paint in it so that we, um, we get it all. I'll probably put a little bit more paint. I didn't use a whole um, jar or, you know, what is it? Three ounces are in one of those. I probably used half. So I would probably use a little bit more paint the next time. But I think that's really pretty just the way that it looks right there. Okay, so now that we have that done, um, I am going to now take my canvas and I'm going to lay it just directly on top there. Okay. And I am just going to press it in really good. And I'm even going to press all of this. And when you do that, the paint's going to come up the sides here. It's like, it's like kindergarten crafting for moms, you know? I like this, like finger, finger painting for mom. So I'm just going to like press it. So just pressing it really good. Can you see the design that's already coming through? I can already see that. Okay, so I'm going to take this and I'm going to pull it back. And I'm going to take just the little butter knife that I was using. These are those Ikea butter knives. And I'm just going to take some of the paint and come up like this. And just, and then that way it gets the sides of your canvas. And like right here, I got in the back. That's okay. Nobody's going to see that part, right? A little bit over here. enough paint in this corner so we are going to see here in a minute if we did and if we didn't we I think I could just take a paint brush and just add some of this paint all right so I'm going to go back and I am just going to press it down just again just make sure we get it okay 
feel the paint move underneath. All right. So now we're just going to pick it up. This is where you are going to get paint on your hands. All right. Oh, wow. Isn't that beautiful? So now we're going to let that dry and I will come back when it's dry. I think that is so pretty. Oh my goodness. That is so beautiful. Okay. So I've kind of got a hot mess going on here, but because there's this much paint, I'm going to do a second canvas and see what comes out with that one. And honestly, just because I have, you know, I think that two of these side by side would look really pretty. I think it would be really pretty to put like a, an initial in it or something, or if you do vinyl and you do have the whole cricket thing, um, I think you could put a really pretty saying over top of that. So let's just go ahead and just see if we can get, let's see here. I'm going to just kind of make sure we get some more paint over there. Okay. So let's just see what happens. Let's do another one. didn't do as well guys so we're gonna I'm gonna show you I think that's really pretty but obviously it didn't have quite enough paint so I'm wondering if I hold it this way will the paint just kind of run and I think it is it's starting to run a little bit there it's still really pretty don't you think <laughs> but we gotta let them dry so I'm just gonna Go like this and see if I can get a little bit more. I am not a painter at all. I did paint my cabins in my kitchen. So there's that. <laughs> so it is dripping down as you can see. So I'm going to just let this drip down some more and then I'm going to lay it flat to dry. Okay, so now we're done and these took at least a day, a good day to dry. Um, it's been several days since I've been working on them, but I wanted to kind of show you the really kind of pretty texture that it created. There were some little bubbles, so I think I probably should have um, maybe popped a little of the a few of the bubbles, but I'm really happy with the way this turned out. I think for a just really simple project, this is just really fun to do. This was the second print that we did um, when we put it over the existing paint, and I thought, you know, there's enough paint there, so let's make another one. And I think that's really pretty too. My daughter loves these. She thinks they're beautiful. I'm already um, committed to making Crosby some now for his room, but um, this was such a simple project. I hope that you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe if you'd like to learn anything crafty, especially right now. Um, it, this will help us keep us our sanity through this crazy time that we are living through. Um, and this is April of 2020. So you'll know when I, if you watch this in a year, you'll know what I'm talking about. Um, but join my wreath group and crafting group on Facebook and follow me on Instagram. Um, all of the supplies that I use for wreath making and just life is in my Amazon store. The link will be below and we will see you next time in Julie's Wreath Boutique.